Good evening and welcome to Murfreesboro City Schools Art Show. We are here today in City Hall's Rotunda. My name is Dee Dee Potter and I welcome you tonight. Hi guys, it's Sasha Burnett and I'm the art teacher at John Pittard Elementary and we are going to start off at looking some of the kindergarten artwork and it already looks amazing. Kaden from Salem Elementary, your self-portrait looks so fun and exciting. I love your giant smile. Samaj from Bradley Academy, I love this radial design. It reminds me of Alma Thomas, one of my favorite artists. Mikkel, your self-portrait is amazing. You've colored neatly. I love your striped shirt. Elizabeth, your pumpkin looks great. I can tell that you took your time making sure you colored in all your shapes neatly. You painted neatly with your watercolors. Awesome job. Ryan, your self-portrait is amazing as well. I love the trees and the landscape that you have in the background. Ethan, I love your scarecrows. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. I love the scarecrow's face, and you did a great job adding that bird in there. Naomi, again, one of my favorite artists, Alma Thomas, that's what it reminds me of. I love your radial design, and you did a great job collaging your paper. And Addie, love your fall landscape. I love the leaves falling down and blowing in the wind, and your pumpkins are just the perfect size and I love how you blended your watercolors in the background. Awesome job. All right, guys, let's look at some more kindergarten artwork. Henry at Mitchell Nelson did a great job adding the glitter on top of his glue to get a snowflake. Crockett, I love your piece on and all of these bright colors. James, I love your happy lights. Holiday season is one of my favorite seasons, and I can really tell that you did a great job coloring in each light and doing a great job putting that watercolor around it. Tannen, you did a great job with your animals, coloring them in. Your house looks great. Your landscape is very neat. Great job coloring. Scarlett, you did a great job with your Abraham Lincoln painting and adding the American flag to your background. Chloe from Mitchell Nielsen, I love your kite. I can really tell there's some movement in your picture. Your house, you did a great job putting those shapes together. Your rainbow is very bright. It makes me ready for spring. Mia, very good job with your primary color birds. You did a very nice job cutting carefully, gluing your shapes to make a bird, and the feathers are so fun. Carson from Hobgood, I love your animal here. And you did a great job tracing your zigzags in your background. Awesome job, Carson. Adriana, I love this collage. I love the resist in the background, how neatly you've cut your shapes out and you've added some fun shapes on top. I even love that you included a math problem in there. Sarah from Irma Siegel, this is very bright and fun. Love your peace sign, love your rainbows, and you did a great job tracing and coloring everything in. Awesome job, kindergarten. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Hundley. I'm the art teacher at Northfield Elementary, and I'm really excited to share some beautiful first grade artworks with you. We'll start here with Kevin C. from Hobgood. He has designed a really cool cityscape with some 3D dinosaurs on the front. Annie Jo from Northfield, she combined weaving and collage to make a beautiful piece. Norman R. from Salem Elementary added lots of exciting details in his drawing. I especially like the cats. I'm a big fan of cats. Corbin A. from John Pittard used lots of different colors and lines to make something really exciting. Abby S. collaged lots of painted paper together to make a beautiful snowy landscape. Dallas from Reeves Rogers created space in his drawing by using overlapping and one point perspective. That's really cool. Ray C from Irma Siegel drew a really great peace sign and all those happy lines and colors really do make me think of peaceful things. Phoebe L from Salem Elementary did such a great job adding lots of details and lines and her craftsmanship on her coloring is excellent. Micah from Overall Creek made a beautiful landscape inspired by Vincent Van Gogh, 
one of my favorite artists. Esme from Mitchell Nielsen used some really exciting materials to create her collage. Anaya from John Pittard used lines in a really cool way to make an exciting hairstyle. And Jasmine from Mitchell Nielsen used colors and lines and shapes to make a beautiful abstract piece that I'm actually really excited about. All right, continuing with our first grade artists, Caroline made a beautiful landscape painted with lots of exciting details. Natalia combined drawing and painting to create a dinosaur scene that's pretty cool. That painting job is really nice, by the way. Lillian E. from Bradley made a really great painted paper collage. Dalen from Reeves Rogers has drawn a really cute owl, and I love the way uh, they combined different drawing materials. Isaiah B. from Northfield combined weaving and collage to make a really fun dinosaur scene. And Damien S. made a peace sign that is really exciting because of all the different colors and lines he used. And that's our first grade artwork. You guys did an excellent job. My name is Miss Larson from Salem Elementary. I'm so excited to be here at Murfreesboro City Hall Rotunda um, sharing second grade artwork with you today. We're going to begin with Vienna from Irma Siegel Elementary. Loving that peace sign with all the line designs and wonderful colors. Um, next is Julian from Bradley Academy. I love how Julian starts with the centerpiece going out with uh, radial symmetry. Moving on to Jake from Irma Siegel Elementary. Again, loving those line designs and colors in the peace sign. Astrid, you did such a great job with the polar bear collage using those monochromatic colors from light blues to dark blues. We also have Naomi from Mitchell Nielsen Elementary. Love how uh, Naomi organized all these shapes into a nice um, symmetry design. Then we have Sophie from John Pittard Elementary. Loving those lines, Sophie. The hair design, all those uh, different line patterns. Great job. Then we have Jackson from Reeves Rogers. I don't know about you, Jackson, but the texture of that paper is making me hungry. It looks just like cheese. We have Rowan from Discovery School. This is probably one of my favorite pieces because I love how Rowan paid attention to value, which is a very special element of art, focusing on lights and darks. And continuing on with Malachi from Scales Elementary, this was one of my um, favorite works looking at. I just love the use of different mediums combined. I love the emphasis of the tree and then the colors that uh, flow from behind the tree. So great job, Malachi. Um, Gracie, awesome job. Gracie from Northfield Elementary. Um, I thought it was so neat how she used one line to divide one image into two images. Um, I love the contrast from the shadows, the neutrals, to color on the other side. So great job on that, Gracie. Over here we have Luke. Um, I love the name of this work of art. It's called He Was Small and Big. And I love Luke's use of shapes to create proportion, to create size. So awesome job on that, Luke. Um, Robin, uh, I know the name of this is called Shape Dance. Great use of different shapes to create sort of like a dance. I almost look, of it, look at it and I think of um, a salad almost as a food has been combined together to make a salad. So great job on that. Juliet, great job on those um, line designs, giving your owl texture with the repeated shapes, the repeated designs, and great use of color. And here we have Carson from Salem Elementary, one of my very own students, who did a great job putting together a birthday cake made out of the elements of art. So, um, so excited, Carson, for you. you did a great job. 
Moving on to Sarah from Overall Creek Elementary. Sarah, for some reason, this reminds me of a Starry Night version of the Grand Canyon. I love your use of movement with the black glue and lines, so great job on that, Sarah. Over here, we have Liam from John Pittard. Liam, again, I love the crazy hair with all those um, unique lines, um, pattern designs, so great job, Liam. And then over here we have Prajna uh, from Reeves Rogers, who did a very fun, cheesy scene with that textured paper. It's making me hungry. So great job on that, Prajna. Alita from Hobgood Elementary. I can tell you had a fun time creating this owl. Love your use of colors and line designs. I almost wish I could do one just like yours. Riley from Overall Creek Elementary. This panda bear brings me so much joy. I love the use of shapes you use to create this panda bear. He looks like a very, very happy panda sitting on that thin piece of bamboo. And last, we have Ayla from Scales Elementary. Great job again on um, this fantastic tree use of um, emphasis, focusing on the tree and bringing out those colors from behind. So that is second grade for you. Great job, second grade. So glad to share your artwork with you. Hello, my name is Rita Myers. I'm the art teacher at Overall Creek and I'm going to be sharing with you some third grade art. Up here we have Sabrina's llama from Case and Lane. She shows a little bit of perspective there with the fence in the background. Very nice job, Sabrina. Uh, this one down here, this hippo is really nice. This is Hannah Grace's from Overall Creek. I love how she layered the tissue paper to make it look like the hippo was underwater. Avery from Irma Siegel, nice peace sign. I love how you cut out the little shapes and the nice colors of the pinks and the purples and the blues. Anastasia from Mitchell Nelson, very nice job with your collage and layering those up. All right, let's continue looking at some third grade pieces. This is Avalon's uh, Llama from Case and Lane. I love this frontal perspective and those ears are hilarious. Uh, Yanalyn, I love your bug from Hobgood. I heard that you created that bug yourself and I love how it pops off the paper and all the colors that you used. Addie, what a cool piece sign with um, all the little patterns and the colors that you chose. Very nice job on that from Irma Siegel. And then Max from Salem, uh, your leaf, I love the gold color that you chose and the patterns and very nice job on cutting that out. Let's go see some more third grade work. Well, let's start here with April from Mitchell and Nelson. I love your use of shadow with that snowman and the glitter in the snow. Avery from Overall Creek, her hippo looks amazing. I love the colors of the purple in the sky and the tissue paper that's layered to show the water. Nice job, Avery. Nevaeh, your bug with the texture that you added in the colors and the perspective of the house in the back is really nice. Um, Nevaeh is from Scales Elementary. Miles, I noticed that um, your your title is something that makes me feel happy. Pokemon and his shadows there, it's really great. Miles from Northfield, good job. Emmanuel from Hobgood, your bug is amazing. The use of uh, mixing your colors there and cutting him out looks great. Kaylee from Reeves Rogers, your bear in the layered um, pieces of paper there for that collage of your bear. You did a really good job of cutting and gluing that. Desira, I love your tree frog. All the patterns of the leaves that you added made a nice little touch for that composition. Good job from Desira from John Pittard. The butterfly picture is from Avery uh, at Scales Elementary. I love your use of texture and how you drew into that metal to create that. Uh, and the use of the markers on the metal made that look metallic. That's really great. David from Reeves Rogers, I love the teddy bear loom. I know that that took a lot of effort there. What a great job on that. Um, Yuku from Northfield Elementary, uh, your shadows that you created with your, your fish there are amazing. I love the perspective and how they're all going after the same uh, little fish there. Asha from John Pittard, your Day of the Dead picture at the top here. I love your use of pattern and the flowers that you've added there. 
Harper from Bradley, your Adobe Village is amazing. Uh, the nice little uh, color contrast with the cactus, I love that. And then your perspective with the land in the background. Jocelyn from Bradley, your Adobe Village also shows so much detail. I love how you had your mix of colors in the sky and the little tiny details of the rocks and the, and the grass is amazing. Good job on that. Catherine, your daisies are beautiful. I love the still life idea, the pattern of the petals there. Good job. And last, we have Lyndon from Discovery School. Um, this is Life in the Pond. This reminds me of Claude Monet's Water Lilies. Nice job with your tissue paper. That concludes our artwork for third grade. You guys did an amazing job. You should be proud of yourself. Hello, my name is Jessica Galliani, and I teach art at Irma Siegel Elementary. Today, we're gonna be looking at some fourth grade art. And the first student we'll be looking at is Sullivan from Northfield. He did an excellent job with symmetrical balance. Um, here we have Delane from Mitchell Nelson Elementary. And what I love about this piece is the use of warm and cold colors. Awesome job. Um, at the top, we have Denise from Hopgood. And what I love about this is that the form that she's put on top of the tree genuinely looks like a tree house. Great job. Um, here we have Max from Overall. And this is called Two Worlds. And what I'm guessing is that in this project, we're combining multiple different places, and he's done an excellent job with his details for this piece. Um, at the bottom, we have Taylor from John Pittern. And what I love about this one is how nice and clean these edges are. It takes a lot of work, especially when you're trying to get cardboard cut just right. Great work. Okay, at the top, we have Maggie. Okay, from Salem, and Maggie has done an excellent job with texture, and she's done a wonderful job filling up all of her space. Well done. On the bottom, we have Kylie from Case and Lane, and what I love about this piece is her attention to detail. She's done an excellent job with all of the line work that it takes to really make this pop. Excellent job. At the top, we have one of my favorite students, Caitlin. I picked your artwork because of your excellent line, balance, and color. Okay, I love this piece. You did a great job. Um, in the middle, we have Zadric. Um, this is another wonderfully um, symmetrical piece. All of these shapes have been folded so neatly. Excellent craftsmanship. At the bottom, we have Neo. Okay, and I do want to read this. It says, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So thank you, Neo. I think that's an excellent statement to make right now. Um, at the top, we have Miriam from Reeves Rogers. And what I think is excellent about this is that all of her shapes are almost the same size. She really had to think about how big she was going to make each part of this piece. At the bottom, we have Melanie from Hobgood. Um, and what I love this is the attention to detail. I can see a lot of these little lights in the tire swing. She was really thinking about what this would be like if she lived there. Um, at the top we have Asher from Salem and what I like about this piece is that we're incorporating multiple materials. I think that's really unique with this. In the middle we have Samaya from Reeves Rogers. Excellent weaving. I also love the shape of her penguin. I think it's really, I think it's adorable. <laughs> um, at the bottom we have Colton from Mitchell Nelson. And the excellent thing about this piece is the gradation from light to dark. I think that is a very difficult thing to do. And Colton, you have done a great job. Let's take a look at our last few fourth graders. Okay, at the top we have Ashlyn from Overall Creek. This is another one where there are two worlds that are combined. Excellent use of detail, and I love how you have filled the ocean with these large creatures. Well done. The bottom, we have Amari from Salem. Um, and one thing I bet was very difficult about this piece was cutting around the edges of the leaf, especially in the stem. That took a lot of technique. Well done. Um, at the top, we have Kirsten from Scales. And Kirsten has done a great job filling up her space and once again using texture. Excellent job. Um, here we are with Laura Zelli at John Pittard. I love how neat and clean her coloring is. It's beautifully detailed. It's an excellent piece. At the bottom, we have one of my students, Carson. Um, and I'm so proud of you, Carson, because you really took the time to look at your hand and draw it. That was one of the trickiest parts of this lesson. Excellent. 
Um, and our last piece we have is Evan from Discovery. And what I love about this is how many details and lines that we have. It's very well balanced. We have a lot of work on one side and then a lot of work on the opposite side of the tree. So excellent job, Evan. And great job, fourth grade. You have done excellent work. Hi, this is Mrs. Burnett at Bradley Academy, and now we're going to take a look at some fifth grade artwork. First up, we have Sydney's from Overall Creek up at the top. Sydney, I love your use of bright colors in your dreams artwork. Next, we have Daniel's from Hobgood. Daniel, this is a fantastic self-portrait, and I love the words exploding out in the background. Next up, we have Sophia from Reeves Rogers. Sophia, I love your nocturnal artwork, showing a flashlight so that we can see the night creatures in your artwork. This beautiful 3D art piece was done by Grady's at Bradley Academy, and she did a super sunset for her soda can project. I love her use of color. Then we have Ella from Salem Elementary. Ella, I love your use of hand drawings with this aged paper that you did for this artwork. Next, we have Evan from Salem Elementary with a Santa's birthday cake artwork. What a creative idea for a project. Then Elena from Salem Elementary. Elena, I love your use of colors in this beautiful fall artwork. Up at the top, we have Brisa from Case and Lane. Brisa, I love the details that you incorporated with your initials artwork. Next, we have Sophia at Scales Elementary. Sophia, I love your use of value in your iris artwork. What a beautiful detail to incorporate. Now we have Tony's piece from Northfield Elementary. Tony, I love your use of positive and negative space in this piece. And now we'll move on to the rest of the fifth grade artworks. Now we're going to take a look back up at the top. This is Addison's piece from Irma Siegel Elementary. Addison, what a bright, beautiful hand artwork. Then we've got Graham's from Mitchell Nelson. Graham, I love your use of color and line in this abstract artwork. Then Perla from Mitchell Nelson. Perla, I love this blue and chalk combination in your artwork. And Aubrey's um, from Reeves Rogers, I love your Keith Herring figures in your art piece. Back up to the top, we have Devon's from Hobgood Elementary, another beautiful self-portrait with names exploding in the background. Austin from Case and Lane, I love the use of vines in this piece and the colors. It's such a wonderful movement all together and Violet from Overall Creek. I love this outrageous art piece and your use of color. Kevin from John Pittard. I love your self-portrait and um, your name association to describe yourself. Then we have Trinity from Northfield Elementary, another beautiful artwork showing negative and positive space together. Then Harper's from Irma Siegel. I love your use of color and your background incorporating with your hand artwork. And we have Zane from Scales, another beautiful piece with color, but this one is featuring a tree. Last, we have an artwork done by one of my own students. This is Clarence's from Bradley. Clarence did a Coke watermelon soda design, and I was so impressed with his use of color. It's very vibrant, and it really jumps out at you. And now let's take a look at our sixth grade artwork. Hi, I'm Dee Dee Potter. I'm the art teacher at Hopgood Elementary, and let's check out some sixth grade artwork. All right, Delaney has a wonderful mola. It is a lizard and a beautiful color used there, and I love the two different colors in the background. Michaela at Northfield Elementary has a beautiful notan, uh, which is a Japanese study of lights and darks or positive and negatives. All right, check out Milan's beautiful Picasso artwork created out of cardboard using different shapes. Wonderful job there, love those colors. Elani did a great job on paper weaving using different colors, different patterns woven into her artwork. Nice job. 
This one right here is called a repose, and repose is a French word for in and out all at the same time. And it's a beautiful work by Jana at Scales Elementary, so great job there. Tegan has a wonderful picture from Overall Creek called The Wave. Check out all of those beautiful movements with the line in his picture, nice job. Ariana has also created a winter landscape using different colors in the background and a lot of lines to create this beautiful landscape. Joseph from Case and Lane Academy has created a mola using different colors and designs and check out the patterns all within his crab. Beautiful job. And now let's check out some more sixth grade art. All right, let's check out this one by Kristen from Northfield Elementary. It is a Japanese notan again, and it's positive and negative space. You've got the sun and the moon and the trees and the water, beautiful. All right, one of my favorite pieces this year is Mary Angel, and it is a beautiful Among Us piece that she's done a wonderful job with. Check out all those colors and the detail of that piece. Above, is Diego's tiger. He's done a wonderful job blending in and using different values to create his tiger. Molly at Salem has created a Santa's birthday cake. What a neat thought. It's decorated for Christmas and just for Santa. Happy birthday. Nice piece by Kiara from John Pittard. It's called Reflection. She's used Zentangles in the background and then the positive and negative space with her owl. Nice job. Okay, let's check out Kennedy's piece up here. It's a piece twice. Um, she's created a beautiful artwork using her hands, a study of her hands, and then created lots of different um, patterns in the background using shapes and color. Love it. All right, Haley, one of my favorite pieces. She's from Reeves Rogers, and she created an Aladdin's lamp with her wish. I think this kind of sums up for us what this year is all about. Her wish is a cure, beautifully done. Michaela's done a wonderful job using black glue and creating musical instruments. She goes to Mitchell Nielsen, nice job. Uh, Diego from Hobgood Elementary created a Japanese no tan. Check out his use of positive and negative space. Excellent job. All right, let's check out Cody's pigs here that he's created out of metal. Beautiful use of color on the headdress here. Nice job, and Cody is from Scales Elementary. Our last piece tonight is from Guinevere from John Pittard Elementary. She did a Kusama pumpkin. Check out all the detail within the pumpkin and the details in the lines and circles behind it. Nice job, Guinevere. That sums up our sixth grade tonight. Thank you for joining us with Murfreesboro City School Art Show this year. We want to thank all of our participants as well as all of our art teachers for selecting some incredible artwork tonight. Thank you and good night. Before you go, we have one more very important announcement to make. We are excited to recognize our best in show for this year. Congratulations to sixth grade student Marion Hell from John Pittard Elementary. Your work, Among Us, has won the Best in Show Award. Thank you to all of our students and all of our art teachers. 